What is up, everybody? This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper. All right, all right. I want to talk to you today about my core funds I'm building to live off dividends. And that's my primary focus. The funds that I can, like, literally pull the dividends out of without having to reinvest very much. And there are some funds, right? You have to constantly reinvest, right? To, to keep the, uh, the price stable, the share price stable. And I'm not necessarily looking for that. I'm looking to live off the dividend. So what does that mean? Well, that means I need to find something pretty consistent a lower paying dividend than I would like because that's just the nature of the business, right? I mean, you have to constantly reinvest many of them. So I think I've picked out the ones. And I've started three big starter positions in these that will um, help me pull dividends out of them. Okay, so without having to reinvest, hopefully, very much at all. Now, I will reinvest these dividends until November. And then after November, hopefully, if everything goes right with the food company, we'll be living off of them. So, first, uh, so these are going to be my three big core funds. And then I'm going to go off of other ones off of those. So the first one is YMAX. And why YMAX? Because I think it's completely feasible to live off those dividends. I do. I, I think that the share price will remain stable. By the way, they, you know, weight the funds every couple weeks, depending upon how the funds are doing, right? So with that being said, YMAX, I've been watching it for a long time, since its inception, and it seems like that is indeed the case. Now, the only caveat to all this is the market's been going up for six months in a row, so the case study on what would happen if the market dumped just isn't there. But regardless, uh, this is what I'm going with. So YMAX, I believe, this is just me speaking, not financial advice. I believe I can pull those dividends every month to live off of them. Will there be times I may have to reinvest a portion or half or all of them? Yeah, maybe. Uh, next up, Spy T. Now, this one has an even lower case study. The sample size is extremely small. So, I will build into this one much slower. But again with the same premise that I can pull the majority of the dividends out and I can live off them. Now, before anyone says anything, yes, I know you have to pay taxes. So we're not talking about taxes. We're just talking about pulling the dividends straight out. And then the third one is one I've had in my main account for, for quite some time since its inception is SVOL. That thing has been phenomenal for me and my main account. So I am transferring that over to my other account. And I bought some today. A big starter position in SVOL today. And that one has been proven through time that you can pull the dividends. Now again, there are caveats when a VIX will spike. And you may have to reinvest a portion of those or all of them back in there. Now, there are some other ones, I think, that I can get away with doing this. One of those is AMZY. Another one is MSFO. And you could say, well, Mike, what happens if those stocks tank? Well, then I may have to reinvest. But, um, but I think it only has to be a portion. Those things are very stable. 
the dividends are nice and I think that's the way I'm going to go I may throw in a couple others but right now I think those are going to be my mainstays and then I'll build others in around it that I may have to reinvest some of those dividends back in but I think those are the ones we're going to go with as my core holdings for my living off dividends now in a couple months may I say you know what I'm going to have to go with something even more passive like a JEPI or a JEPQ maybe maybe um, I hope not because they don't pay very much and the amount you'd have to put in is is a lot and it would you know set me back a little bit so I'm not looking to do those um, so yeah I think I'm very very set um, with those positions and I'm very happy with those positions so yeah those are the ones I'm gonna do so right now I only have three that I've put a big starter position in and like I said those are Wimax, by T and SVOL super super excited I am here at my big event and I am ready to go work and make some money tonight so next week I can really start adding to these positions. I, I can't wait. Uh, makes it so fun to come to work and exciting knowing um, this is my future. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. If there's other funds you think that would be stable, now YMAG I don't think I'm going to get into that one. That's a Magnificent 7. I'm already going to have WiMAX. I don't see a reason for me personally to have WiMAG. Um, maybe Feppy. I don't know. But again, that's a Mag 7 thing. Um, so we'll just have to see. I am interested in those weekly payers. But I need to see more time on those before I put a, a big massive investment in and, and put my family's future. Well, my wife and I's future anyway. Um, into those. So those need more time. And that's just the way I am as an investor. That some people give me a hard time. They're like, hey, why don't you get in from the get-go? I, I can't. I have to watch them play out over a period of time. And I said that and I jumped right into Spy T. That's just because I love the premise of it. And uh, I already love JEPY. And I think this is a, a tighter version of JEPY. I won't have the dramatic drops, and I'll have a better rise um, as the markets go up. But please, let me know what you think of my positions. I'm open to all suggestions, my friends. All right, this is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper, out.